done. This is actually a pretty long episode. We'll see where this goes. If it's as funny as the other ones, we've been having fun here with it. I'll probably show this to my friends. Actually, you know what? I'll oh, do that now. Part of me feels this shouldn't be eliciting the laughs it is, but at the same time, my laughs are recorded on audio, so, so I you can't, can't deny, deny them. that something's hitting right. I have been gesticulating with my hand so firmly with every other word, I just flung my glasses off. Hmm. Uh, you should probably not do that. Anyway. Yeah, I, uh, okay, I, I've retrieved them. <laughs> okay, let's get ready, everyone. Time for episode four, Planet Presentation. Pay for my therapy, Planet Earth. <laughs> I'm going to need it after I get back. <laughs> I'm so tired. And I found that I have a new class. Uh, and it's pretty far away, too. Astrotopography. <sighs> oh, it's a, a, basically astronomy. Get going. Can't wait to see what disaster awaits. Always some new weird aliens on here. Yep. It's quite literally a dragon princess. Oh. Uh... Hmm. Oh fuck yeah, the internet archive gets me back in full. Um, hmm. is this the right place? Hmm. If the teacher doesn't show up in five minutes, we're allowed to leave. That's a saying that we say in college, but that oh, actually happened to me. Like, basically, and the teacher, like, came in at the last second because we waited ten minutes because he just was no-show. And he was in his office, like, no, no, you can't leave after that. I'm like, dude, it's your fault. How can you not let us leave? Okay, so the thing is, that's what we said in high school. And my German teacher didn't show up. Up one day. And we said it was 15 minutes. And everyone left after 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Except for me, who stuck around because I didn't have anywhere to be, and the sub came in and marked everyone who left absent. Wow. The sub came in at the 40-minute mark. Wow, she had no right to do that. Uh, I'll be coming. Not, Not so, so fast, fast, student. Class starts right now. Welcome, everyone, to the observatory. I am Dr. Cosmos. Dr. Cosmos. I study and map the universe. The other schools oh. would never admit it, but we have the best maps. I mean, in space, maps are probably the most important thing. Indeed. Remind me of Galador. Galador was a commercial failure. The show oh. was not very good. That said, I would totally be able to react with, with it to you because you don't get this level of combination optimism and cheapness anywhere else <laughs> hmm. uh one of the ideas i liked um so got so it's set in the place called the outer dimension uh which is actually more of a series of dimensions connected via well, via a sort of void or rift but you can't traverse it without a map because you're going to die otherwise and there's only one map in existence because the virus took out the others. Oh, wow. It, it was a cool concept that was hamstrung by the fact that the toys didn't sell well and uh, the show wasn't particularly popular. The problem with uh, Cartoon Network is they do something similar where they accidentally push the, sh they push the toys away because they don't show the shows yeah, at the right times. Oh no, the issue with Galaga was it was Lego. Computers. Oh, in, in Iraq, millions Lego. of planets in mere seconds. Uh -huh. Shall we put it to the test? The Lego logo was Where very good. Where are you visible. from? Kepler. Placenta. Chess L. Are they looking at the galaxy? Oh, they're looking at their planets. Oh. They're all very different. And how about you? Um, I I'm not sure if it's on here, but I'm from planet Earth. Hmm? I'm just oh, reminded right. of that scene from Vader Let Zim that's sticking out with, the, with mm, planet okay. question mark Hold up. at the edge of the Is map. Is that Andromeda? Oh, the Andromeda Ooh. Galaxy. Could this be Earth? Oh, he... he So he's been to the Andromeda Galaxy and he knows about the Milky Way. It is. But he just never found Earth. You can learn a lot about these planets from the computer, but what they can't teach you are experiences. I want to hear your stories. 
which That's is interesting. He's not only an astro cartographer, he's also a historian. Your homework for next week is to give a presentation. Presentation, presentation, presentation. about Earth. Just use that one video. Uh, what is it? History of Earth and no, everything. No, just, just, just a PowerPoint. The first slide, mostly harmless. Mostly harmless. Please tell me you get the reference. No. He tried to go out of the galaxy. Oh. That's Earth entry. <laughs> mostly, th mostly harmless. <laughs> yeah, no, apparently it used to be harmless, but after decades of research, it was updated. Ah. Uh, I moved closer to the mic. Speak up. Oh, he's Otherwise got stage right. Your presentation. 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 Oh, no. Dude, this place has an echo. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, this is crowded. I do like this strange go look over there dino spot, man. Okay? Huh? Oh, right. Leaf lady. Yeah, there's a leaf moth lady back there. Uh, this seat is reserved for a far superior ass than yours. What? <laughs> this whole table is reserved. Can't you read, Earth guy? I didn't know you could reserve a table. Okay, so what yeah, you do? Well, you can. It's just hey, blow on the sign until it flies over the edge and look him dead in the eye. <laughs> oh See my god. Right over there. He's gonna try to push Keep him blocking. along. It's a trash can. <laughs> yeah. Why do I always play along? I'd show a little more respect if I were you. Mm. Mm. That's Earth Guy, aka the only guy you couldn't catch during the initiation. Uh, Remember? hate that guy. <laughs> he just got lucky. Once he runs out of luck, he's got nothing to fall back on. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go. I mean, he has good friends. He can always fall back on now. He's eating charcoal. You know what? I'll sit on the floor. Well, you do the dinosaur. What? Anti-grav. Zero grav. Attention all students. There seems to be some trouble with the gravity regulator. Uh, yeah, we've been known. Hot soup for table four. Hot soup for table four. <laughs> oh no, don't let them. Yeah. Attention. This is an emergency. What is going on okay, here? Okay, so there seems to be what? some issues with the uh, regulator thingy. It might be broken or on fire. What? We might die. What? But don't panic. Do not panic. Why would you tell them this? He said not to panic. He said not to panic. Oh no. He's gotta get hit by the sun. Tough luck, kiddo. Pay better attention in crowd surfing class next time. Crowd surfing class? Alright, everyone calm down. Everything's fine. No one's gonna die. Oh my god. It's only a minor issue with the operating system. Guaranteed. Uh, it's still making loud- Oh. It looks- Are they just gonna wake him- I'm gonna cry myself to sleep here. Cry myself to sleep. <sighs> Can't sleep. Because when I hear Carl yeah, that does sound like a car alarm. It's just that. And you know, after a certain point, I'm, here. I'm either gonna put a rock through the windshield I know why. or call the cops on it. Hmm. That point is about an hour. I pressed the wrong button. Ah, that's my own fault. It went off right when I went down to the car. It should have been someone else. Oh. Not me. He doesn't he thinks someone else should be here. What's going on? It's big students. You can sleep now. Oh, they couldn't sleep before. What? Oh, he left his card inside. Oh. Oh no. Sleep on the floor. Oh no, the janitors. Five more minutes. Neil? Oh, hey! 
<laughs> You're sleeping on the floor? Uh, yeah. That's and not doing the dinosaur. Oh, what an interesting fact for your presentation. Also, the door about has not been opened. Undoubtedly. Oh, yeah, great. That guy, I think in they fact, changed voice actors. I, my way to the well, I could be wrong. His voice sounds a little different to me. Bye. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Ah, way to go, Neil. Raise the bar even higher. Hey, man. What you doing? Trying to work on my presentation. What presentation? What? Dr. Cosmos class. Oh, right. I'll get to it. I do my best work last minute. He's Anyways, gonna just got? throw something I together last second. Will be fun. Really? Why? Because of your video, man. It was the funniest, most brutally honest application. Really? Um, you're right. Wait, we never saw the full thing. It's true, but we also, for some reason, all the others got the application video. That's that's the weirdest part. Yeah, it's weird to me. What if I just pretend I'm doing a regular stream? Maybe I mean, that work. works. Just pretend Which, they're not there. I'm in pajamas. Ugh. Because you, you got go. locked out of your house. Got locked out your dinosaurs, zebras, pandas, the giraffe. It's with the fucking Big Bang Theory is drawn. Yeah. It all started with the. I mean, you could. Who's that? His mom? Pyramids. And it all start. Well, he could literally just say, "Well, it all started with a big bang." It needs like a lot more rings. A lot more. Okay. How many rings is? Ready. Here's what I got so far. They're planning so There's many rings luck. that the people on the planet evolve more luck. rings. I need something else. I don't think that's how that works. She looks cool, man. Thanks. How's yours? My what? Hmm? Oh, right. I'll get to it. What you mean? I'll get to it. Wow, what's that? All right, everyone. It's stuff like that that makes me think he has ADHD. You see what I mean? Yep. Because I have ADD and we'll I start can start presentations kinda... in a few minutes. Oh. <coughs> God damn it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, Neil, how's it going? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> he has a slight British you accent. Live on an ocean planet. Oh yeah, Earth is like oh, 70% water. Oh, he would like that. How fascinating. <gasps> What's that? Oh That's my so god. Exceptionally Ew. adorable. <clears throat> I um look forward to your presentation. Well, we know he loves seals now. He has the seal of approval. I'm not taking back that joke. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to. That's that so requires right shame. Let's get into mm -hmm. it. Oh, I have shame. It's just dying right the now inside me. The surface of Circeus burns brightly at the perfectly pleasant temperature of around 5800K. By taking oh, the to the canal, you'll see most Venice. of our capital's famous sites. You'd steer past centuries-old temples, like the Agamarda. Truly an enlightening experience. And I would invite you all to come see it, if you wouldn't horribly burned to death. I do like the look of this design. It makes her look kind of like she is here, but also kind of like a nun in a way. It makes me... Honestly, this feels like it could be a sort of Dark Souls design if it's a normal person, know what I mean? Imminent yeah. darkness. Very flowing. A gravitational pull so strong nothing can escape it. You live in a black you hole? You'll just keep falling and falling beyond the enclosing event horizon. Rests only a world of cold and dark nothingness. Or as I like to call it. Home. Home, sweet home. I am Ed. I'm gonna call we'll call, call it um Ever since the I intersection of twenty fourth and Maple. Years ago. Mm. Look at this. Mm. this Of course she's gonna be the one who's the most Wait, is that a picture of her in a video game or something? Maybe? Uh, no, I think that's just totems nearby that happens to look like a menu. Maybe. It's perfect. 
Kathoa was hit by an asteroid 10,000 years ago. Eh, it's no Kilgaria. Oh. <laughs> Until they realized dying is weak. And so they came back to life. This makes yeah. me think of the hell gas from uh I kill zone. We have to start burying sometime. We have to start what? We need to react to Star Barians sometime. I don't know what that is. Uh, have you seen Dr. B's? Oh, that. Okay, we need to react to Dr. B's. Oh, no, I've seen Dr. B's. I remember Dr. It's an, anima it's an animation series by and they grew the same guy. Thanks uh, to the mythical Dust Arger. And evolved into the bold, brave... So she's zombie people. Her people are zombies. Oh my god, it's a world of I would never have guessed. Neither of I, I would never have guessed that either. It's interesting the kind of concepts the creator seems to come up with with this. Quite literally having them revive themselves. Interesting. Beautiful Cthoans we know and love today. Cthoa has 4,500 volcanoes, of which 4,500 are active volcanoes. Because Cthoa mm. hates laziness. Oh. And now... I'll read you a list of crimes that will have you beheaded. Okay. Theft, murder, eating with your mouth open. Blech. I mean, normally, yeah. Who eats with their mouth open? Putting only five eyeballs. Sometimes in clearly my nose is clogged. Oh my god! Funny enough, this reminds me of a silly law that's in California, where if a frog dies in a frog race. You cannot eat it. It's against the law. I see. Presumably Police this is to stop the fixing of frog races by those in search of a meal. I <laughs> guess. I don't Wearing know. the same dress as my mother's. Not oh. laughing at my brother Joey's jokes. Yeah, we don't take that one very serious. <laughs> <laughs> is she a princess? Breaking a seventh century vase. Dancing on top of a grave shirtless. Why shirtless? Funny during your presentation. <laughs> Damn it, Joey! Oh, she added that. <laughs> he added that to her. Um, are you finished or? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the mother goddess Aurelia filled the planet with her tears and blessed us all with life. It's a completely ocean planet. I was expecting this. Yep. Our world Welcome. under the sea. Is not as accessible to people under the sea outside of Oceantis, which is why I'd like to share the underwater experience through a projection. The oceans oh. are home to over 50 million. This makes me think of Ben 10 a little, but that's just because Ben 10 has and interesting together, aliens. We live in okay, harmony. so I'm just reminded of an episode of an old show called Duel Masters where they where the card game starts in an underwater battlefield, but well, that's a projection. And the main protagonist has to be reminded, no, you're not drowning, dipshit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we gotta stop bumping into each other, Aquila. <laughs> oh, you're pushing it hard there. Okay, yeah, no, they cranked the yaoi dial up. <laughs> yeah, they cranked it up right they went there. from non-existent to they fucking. Yeah, it's quite literally that one skit. Dude, your presentation. Yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> no, I have to do it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tsaraka was created by our god, Ori, who takes the shape of a bird. He's just... He, it's kinda like he's gotta be bullshitting this. I, I think he is. He's doing a draw my life. Why is everyone always DM me yes, whenever I'm reacting? Ori is also on our flag. Because your huggable flute like this. Me, like to like you. This. Oh my god. And we have, like, a lot of sand here. Here. And here. Um, nah, it's all just sand. He's a and desert tornadoes. world. Lots of tornadoes. Ah, dust devils. That's why we mostly live underground or in the mountains. <laughs> Good job. Alright then. Mr. Neil Wang. His plan is probably... Earth is a interesting thing in the fact that it has so little chance of existing. And yet it does. Yeah. With all of its different fauna and fauna. Side note. Um, 
The single hardest name I've ever heard for an attack. Do you know what the Furby Paradox is? The Furry Paradox? No. The Furby Paradox. The fur also, no. <laughs> the Fermi Paradox is, uh, if intelligent life is out there, why has none of it tried to contact us? And I mean, I think for the same reason, I don't know any of my neighbors' names, but that's not, well, but that's beside the point. It also could be the fact that they are, might be terrified of, of what we would do. Um, in the most recent Kirby game, the final boss has an attack where he tears open space to hurl meteors at you. According to the art book, the attack's name is The Answer to the Fermi Paradox. Wow. The reason they don't contact us is because kill us? What? Well, it's because the implication that, um, Facto Elfin already found them and killed them. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's what that means. Well, the thing is, oh, no. Elfin's not oh, actually that high something. up on the power scale. I know, I've seen some of the Eldritch Gods from Kirby. I played the first Kirby game, but not any of the rest. I need to. I'm flying? Oh no. Oh no. Well, we got set up for this earlier. What are you doing? Oh, she created autograph. Okay, everyone. Let's take a quick break. Oh. Damn, he got stage fright again. Don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up. Screw this up like you always do. Oh. Dude, you haven't been murdered in your bed yet. You've survived longer yeah. than anyone would, probably. I'm sorry, sir. I'll be right back. I Whoa, slow down, son. Easy. Just take a deep breath. You breathe oxygen, right? Ha! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the biology jokes that get me. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it it honestly makes sense, though, because he's like, I'm not sure with your kind. Well, all this talk of home planets makes me think of my own home. You see, I have this sort of projector, and with it, I can see my home planet, Quasar. Mm-hmm. Wow. I just love seeing all those clouds in the sky. I do wonder if other organs could Cosmos. exist like this. Well, shall we get back? I just had a crazy idea for a space audio idea. What do encouraging words sound like yeah. on Earth? Well, I usually got man up or be more like your cousin. Be more like your cousin. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a that's a thing I've heard before. More like don't Neil. be, don't, be don't try to be like Peter. Try to be like Miles. Yeah, that also works. Yes, that Too bad in the new Spider-Man game he didn't get a chance to do either. Well, it got you here, yeah. didn't it? Aw, yeah, he's got a point though. Aww. He he what has friends. And what he did so far has gotten him here. Yeah. My name is Neil Wang from Planet Earth. Inside the brain presentation. Oh, wow. That was a really cool transition. Hmm? This is really good. Yeah. Who's the spider? Or guy slash girl slash non-binary behind this. Uh... Oh! Great layers. Oh, he's going through the layers of the earth, and then he's going through the ancestry, and then photosynthesis, and the evolution of earth. Diverse life forms, yeah. Funky fun guy. Go for honor. Go for us. Spawn humans. Population planet. Build civilizations. Create culture. Well, culture is always there, but yeah. Build cities. Yes, yeah, so only bacteria. If I went through... As a historian myself, if I went through all the different cultures, like I have a few books still from my college days, uh, uh, Earth. I would be overloaded. You ask me for my personal experience. Yeah. And for that... I'd like to take a little break from the script and tell you about what I think is the most beautiful place on Earth. 
It's where part of my family comes from. Hawaii? My Ohana. Yeah, he's Hawaiian. It's oh. Hawaiian. Yeah. Because Ohana me. means family. I didn't realize that. The only reason I know this is because I because of Lilo and Stitch. According to my well, to the clips on my Twitch, Ohana needs Starlight Kick. What? With a solar temperature of I don't remember the degrees, circumstance where it came up. The perfect temperature on Earth. That was like a beach years ago. With lots of sand. <laughs> on one of oh the neighboring God, islands, volcanoes erupt. Hmm. There's bright blue ocean water as far as the eye can see. Oh, he's got a bit of everything. Sense, you see the most amazing darkness unfold before you. True. Though and in a moment originally like this, it was blue instead of black. Everything feels all right. This is probably some of the strongest dialogue they've had. Well done. Yeah. They've had good bits here and there, but that was well made. Licking ice. Fire sword. Dino egg thing. Flower lady. Alright, everyone. That's the last one for today. Earth's night sky must look wonderful with such a big moon. <laughs> yeah, if the smog doesn't cover it. What? For 100 rings in the sky? Now that sounds amazing. Nah, it gets old real fast. Oh. You can have it if you want. Oh, no. Oh, that's an underwater picture that he took. Shouldn't. Oh. It's okay. There's plenty more in the ocean. I love fish in the sea. But I'm sure oh my god, I think that. that <laughs> I think that's what they mean. Right. Thank you. That was a great presentation, Neil. Thanks. All right, everyone. We've got your evaluation sheets ready. Well done, Neil. Oh. oh. I can't read any of it. But you don't need to. True. You know he did well. That was a nice juxtaposition compared to what had previously happened. Yeah, it's been mostly goofy, but this was a nice little bit of heart to heart. Yeah. Zen. Additional voices. I really like this series, and I hope it continues. Yeah. Like, the early episodes were a bit shaky, but it's really coming into its own. Yeah, I'm very glad to see it. I'm really hope they got to make the series exactly the way they wanted. Crowd Surfing 101. Get a good boost in the air. Lay on back. Spread your legs and arms. Stay still. You know what's funny? This is the same thing you do for... Oh. I mean, I guess that's technically passing. Landing needs more work. That's the same sort of rules you need today. you need for uh, laying on a bed of nails because because here's the thing with laying on a bed of nails the whole trick is apparently to distribute distribute your weight among the nails. <laughs> That's how they do it. I was gonna guess that that is what you do to escape a bed of quicksand. Uh, no, I don't know how to escape a bed of quicksand. But thank you all so much for coming by. If you like what we're doing here, please do consider following. It's great to have you guys come by. And yeah, we hope you like this series. And please go support them. Please check them out. Because their stuff so far is wonderful.